Hello and welcome back to another episode of Ark Fjorder of blah, of Ark Fjorder. And uh we're gonna try something really dumb today. You'll notice that I currently have the gas mask on. Uh in between episodes, I did a lot of work. One of those things be one of those things being I made a uh oh, why am I bringing them all out here? Darp. Being that I bred up these guys, ten of them to be precise. Now, granted, I probably could and maybe even should do more than what I'm doing. But, um... <sighs> wow. Hold on, I gotta let my cat in. Okay. Like I said, we're back. Um... <laughs> I do not know what the results of this are going to be, but we are going to attempt to fight Bela with these 10 imprinted and somewhat leveled, um, leveled guys, and if that doesn't work, well, um, huh. Oh, we got bugs here. Any opportunity to... It's like, I don't know. In theory, um, this thing, uh, oh my god, name. The Acrocanthosaurus from the Arc Editions mod has proven itself to be extraordinarily powerful. Like, extremely, extremely powerful. But... But this is, technically speaking, a mini-boss that we're going up against, so... Uh, it is a boss, so we will see just how powerful it real, how powerful these things really are stacked up against it. Oh, sorry about that. That's Kamazaz. We don't, we do not want her out for this. But again, I, I truly do not know what the results are going to be. I, I don't normally make a habit of fighting bosses. Um, I have done it before. I fought the Broodmother several times. I fought... Um, I think I fought Motor once? Question mark? I don't even remember. Um, what... Okay, and a reason, by the way, I have the gas mask is that this, uh, is that Bela has a tranquilizing attack at her disposal. So we'll see if ten imprinted Acrocanthosaurus are up to this fight. And like I said, they do have some levels, as you can see. Uh, maybe not as much as they should. But the beauty of this is that even if we fail here... Uh, at the t in the time it took to raise these up, I've already would have recouped my loss on eggs twice over. So I can simply start hatching up a new a new group of them to take their place. And you know, of course, the loss is unfortunate. And it's time wasted. It's time like that could have been spent on other things. But uh, it's always it's always important to notice. That it's not a total failure if this happens. Like, it's, you know, sometimes you, you're just, you're not prepared and, and you learn from it. Why are you so low on health? What? What the hell? Okay. Uh, okay, well, I need to heal one of them up. Yeah, as you can see, some of them are much more leveled than others. I'll be riding the most leveled of them. Although it might behoove me to ride the Andrew Sarkis. We'll see. We'll see. There's a lot of different ways this could go. I intend to... Oh my god, this one's not healed either. Alright. Okay, so we're actually going to have to wait a little bit before we summon this boss. What? Oh, right. You're the one that killed something. Okay. Okay. Alright. Let's see what we got. Uh, is that gas mask whittling? Yeah, it- Really? Come on. It hasn't even taken damage yet. Get out of here. 
That's such BS. I forget about that sometimes. Like, I, I normally never need the gas mask. I never, ne uh, bleh. I normally never bother with it, so. Okay, let's see if we can't kill these guys. But uh, yes, as I said, this is all up in the air. The only thing I know about Bela is that she does have a torpor-inducing attack that can directly hit me, which is why I brought that gas mask. But before I summon her, I'm going to let all my acros healed up, heal up. Apparently, uh, some of them didn't. And I do not know why. Uh, maybe they got more injured than I thought when leveling them? Hmm. Interesting. I really do need to tame a Snow Owl and a Daydon just to help speed up that process, you know? Alrighty. <laughs> We're back. I, I'll be dead honest. I'm not... I do not necessarily feel the most prepared. It's like when you show up before a test and you you think you studied, but you're not really sure if you have. But we're about to but we're about to bloody find out. Also, if this doesn't work out, this will be the one time where a bee is responsible for killing a bunch of killing a dinosaur. Uh okay, how do you do this? Oh boy. Oh my god. Um <laughs> Trapped. Note to self, 10 Acrocanthosaurus might be a little excessive. Uh, so, just for context, if I'm not mistaken, Bela has like 170, 175 base health or something like that. And, as you can see, she is trying, she can't move, she can't do anything because of the sheer amount of acros that are just, like, piling in on her. Oh! Oh! Oh, and all right, rip. Wow. <laughs> I would appear that I have been worried over nothing. So be it. All right, who got the loot? Or is the body, like, somewhere? The... Okay, some of them did get hurt a little bit. Uh, alright, we need to get out of this wall. Oh, there she is, right there. Uh, oh, oh boy. Oh, jeez, okay. Uh, alright. Wait a minute, what am I doing? Why am I doing this? I could just do, I could just go like this. Well, there's some lo 
Oh, wow. <laughs> uh, alright. Can I, like, eat the body? No. No, I cannot. Okay, she doesn't have anything in her. Alright, I'm, I'm down to do that again. That was pretty... <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what I was freaked out about. Man, I feel stupid. <laughs> oh, man, I even forgot to put the gas mask back on. <laughs> oh, wow. What an absolute... <laughs> All right. Round two, boys. Yeah, alright, let's see what how much damage they actually took from that. I definitely don't want to spend all my runes, and it takes 30 of them to summon them, so I should bear that in mind. But, um... Yeah, looking at this, the acros are overqualified for this. And I needed, actually, you know what? I may never have turned down my, 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 my melee settings, but honestly... Uh, I don't know how much difference that would have made. Because it's not the amount of damage that they do, it's the amount of damage that she does in relation to that before they kill her. Oh uh, yeah, they took some damage. They all took some damage, but not a whole lot. Now, the key to that fight was that we, uh, was that she was basically stuck. She, she couldn't move. What, really? There we go. Had she been able to achieve her full mobility... Oh, come on. I think we could have had a very different... Oh, you're the one that got the kill. More! <laughs> Oop. Uh... It's like I said, you know, I was a little worried, I was a little concerned, but I'm happy. Let's see if it'll let me do it. Usually, I think there's a cooldown, right? Okay. Or, or not. We shall see. Split the, split the 30, please. Yes. There we go. Hey, if I'm getting loot like this... I'm a happy man. That's all I'm gonna say. Oh, yeah, no, nope, there is this cooldown timer of one hour. So, uh, we're gonna have to wait for that. But, you know. In the meantime, I can take us back to base and, um, show us, uh, and show off what's been going on. Honestly. Oop. That's a, my chair is hitting something there. Yep, 10 acros. More than a match for Bela. I wonder how 10 um, Dinotherium or yeah, Dino -therium would do. I know people have used Megatherium uh, on this boss. Um, I gotta say, I really love the caves. I really love this cave. It's really pretty. However, let's see. Also, that Bela rune that she dropped, uh, we need that to actually fight the real, like, the, the, the bigger bosses. Oh, God. Oh, caves. Oh, caves. There we go. <laughs> All right, yeah. Uh, welp. <laughs> I was expecting that to take longer and be significantly more difficult than it was. So, uh, yeah, let's actually look at what I picked up here. A better scuba mask. Okay. Tropio saddle. Tapajara saddle. Stego saddle. Riot gauntlets. Okay, some of this is okay. 
but the element was the most important part of that. And if you have uh, done the Arc Edition stuff, then you know why. Because I want to make the Indominus Rex at some point. I'm sorry, the Domination Rex. Well, those wolves are taking a dip. Um... Oh, oh, oh. We got over here. Wild male paleo arc greater UD. Hmm. Interesting. I have yet, to, I have not seen this before. I wonder, is it better in some way than the normal UD? I will have to investigate this and possibly tame one and find out. Hmm. You know what? That wouldn't be such a bad idea. Okay. What's this? Oh, God. Oh, we're loading in something. What is this place? Oh, boy. Oh. Oh, boy. Yeah, nope. Mm-mm. I, uh, I don't think so. That looks like a water cave of some description. I'm going to mark that on my map here. <sighs> Once again, loading in the... There we go. Also, I was reading up on Dodo Dex to learn more about Bela, and I gotta say, one of these comments just cracked me up. I'm not gonna say who said it, but, you know, just out of respect, you know. But, uh, if we go over here, uh, let's see where, who, where it says it. Uh, do, 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 do. It's a big green and purple bee with pom-pom feet. It's so cute. I summoned it. <laughs> I don't know why. I really... That 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 brought a smile to my face. I like that. Um, Yeah, wow. I had the gas mask and I didn't even need it because... <laughs> because we had the poor boss trapped... <laughs> trapped in the acro circle right there. That was actually pretty funny. <laughs> oh, man. And again, as much as I... You know, it's like, oh, well, if you didn't have, like, you know, the boosted uh, tame melee setting, and uh, maybe she would have fared better, and it's like... And it's like, I mean, it's possible, but I don't think so. I think it just would have had the same exact result. It just would have taken longer. And I, I still will change it. Um, you know, one of these days I'll remember to do it. But even if I didn't, I highly doubt it would have mattered in that situation. Like, that just would have been... Yeah, it's it's like I said. It One way or another, Bela was trapped... And because she was trapped, she couldn't really do anything to, you know, oh, I see you. And I don't like you. Where am I going? I am uh, the wrong way. That's where I'm going. Um, see, part of me wants to cut away, but given how quickly that w that took... And that was the whole point of the episode. Like, that was the focus of the episode. So, I don't know. Maybe we'll just fly back. Maybe I'll tame something. Like, I could try taming the Greater UD. Um. Yeah, I'm a little, I'm a little annoyed about the, the loot. Like, the loot quality is fine. It's just the loot items themselves aren't bad. I'm just, okay, great. I got a scuba mask. That I won't use because scuba masks are garbage and they make it so you can't see anything. Oh, we got a cryo over there. And I mentioned that in the last episode, you know. But, uh, you know, we could tame one of those. It really doesn't help to tame it. Oh, uh, we've got ourselves a... 
Got ourselves a situation down here. Paleo Arc Greater Yudi versus a Wooly Brachiosaurus, which is uh, just a Brachiosaurus with a beard and a fluffy tail. Look at him. Look at him. That is fantastic, isn't it? Ooh. Shame to see that max level uh, uh, Yudi go down like that, because I definitely would have tamed it, but the reality of the situation is that, uh, no, that's not what's going to happen. It's also it's taking on the Ark Edition's Brachiosaurus it <laughs> and took the Mega Stomp to the face. Uh, it doesn't matter wh how powerful you are when you take the Brachy Mega Stomp, unless you're like a mutated, you know, super powerful health tank creature. You don't survive that. <laughs> oh my god. You know, you'd figure 35 episodes in, I'd be aware of the map well enough to know how to actually find my way around, but you'd be mistaken. <laughs> Alright, let me check the time here. Uh, alrighty, so I think I'm going to cut away and bring us back when we reach base. <clears throat> you know, and uh, give us some base updates again, and then maybe we'll come out here and try and tame one of those greater UDs. See what that's up. See what that's all about. All right. <clears throat> Alrighty. Uh, welcome back. Uh, welcome back to home sweet home. Um, yeah, I gotta say, uh, it honestly feels like, you know, it was easier than expected, but again. It's still quite the accomplishment. Hello, Spork. I don't pay you enough attention. How are you doing, buddy? Wow, rude. Um, we're on. We're we're recording here. Watch the language. Uh, yeah, no. So we got the um, we got the uh, we got a male Velanosaur with the stats that we wanted. So now we're breeding him up with these two lovely ladies here to get one. With uh, the best, st with uh, all those stats plus their stamina, you know that single point into stamina. <laughs> all right, and we got our perfect Dinotheriums over here. Um, okay, are they? They are not breeding yet. Let's see if they have given me a new baby. They have. Indeed. Uh, okay, so we've got two males, and then a couple of females somewhere up here. So we've also got the bats breeding up the perfect, like, a set of perfect individuals so that we can begin that. I do want to do bat mutations, just because they look like they'd be fun, and also, they might be good enough that I'd like to see what an army of bats does against Bela. I don't know. It, that probably wouldn't go too well. You can let me know in the comments, but... Yeah, as you can see, had we lost that fight, I got more than enough eggs to recoup my loss. Not a problem. Yeah, of course, still tragic to lose those creatures, but... And that's part of the process. This is the way. Um, let's see. Yeah, we got a lot of male Dinotherium here. Thought I had some females up there, but apparently I do not. Oh, no, I do. Uh, my female is right here. And a male of the exact same thing is here as well. So. We also have what will become Kamazot's Mark II. And don't worry about Kamazot's Mark I. She'll be, she'll be sticking around. You know, she might not be used as much, but she will be sticking around. She's had a good run. I think, honestly, she's earned a retirement <laughs> three times over by this point, but... Yeah, see, here we go. Here's the new one. I like the, like, reddish, rusty, fuzzy uh, brown on it. Really nice colors. Love that, like, Dracula red velvet wings on that. It's great. And it's funny because Desmodus Draculae. But, yeah. No, I was going to go and try and tame up that uh, greater UD, but now that I'm thinking about it, I'm just like, hmm... That might help us later. It might not. Uh, but I'd rather get situated and try and move shop before we worry about that. 
Okay, so we're gonna put our runes back. Yeah, I'm not gonna fight Bela again until I have dealt with that issue. <clears throat> that in there. Oh, man. Okay, we're gonna drop these, whatever these are. <clears throat> I really do need to tame a Rex just to test that out, though. Okay, let's put my loot away. Oh, but yeah, here's the chemistry bench, and I've already put it to work, making me lots of cementing paste, spark powder, and gunpowder, so that should be a lot of fun. Uh, and I finally made the crafting table, the S-plus crafting station that allows me to make the S-plus structures that I couldn't before. It also allows me to get on the roof, but that's completely irrelevant to the conversation. Um, what? Really? I can't squeeze by? <laughs> Alright, we're going to put our stuff away. And, uh, let's see here. Yeah, that'll, that'll probably do it. A very, pretty short episode, but honestly, the primary focus of the episode was Bela. And I wanted to get that done before we moved shop, and we did. And, um, we did. So, I, I don't have a lot else right now. In the next episode, definitely look forward to more stuff coming. I, I'm sorry if this is a little short and just didn't get much done, but... You know, I still think that, you know, I'm still quite pleased with the end result. And what we learned from the episode is that Mela's kind of a pushover. Or either that or three Acrocanthosaurus, or t three, what? Um, <clears throat> four, four? Oh, man, can I please talk? Like, learn to, to speak. Um... Apparently, no, I can't. <laughs> okay. I'm just taking this one step at a time. Um, oh my god. Wow, I'm, I'm losing it. I'm seriously losing it. Uh, hold on. English words hard. Uh, uh. Um, okay. Ten! There we go. That's the answer. That's the thing I wanted to say. 10 Acrocanthosaurus is more than a match for, for Bela. Uh, as you saw, not only did they manage to mop the floor with her, but they did it in... That was, what, four to six minutes at the very most? Like, that is, that is absolutely absurd. But yeah, no, I think next episode we're going to start prepping to move. Maybe we'll do that tame, maybe not. I'm honestly not sure. Uh, uh, the fact that this boss is as, as easy as it is, uh, or at least with 10 acros, kind of uh, throws those plans out of the window. Um, I might do more water stuff because we do have to go into the water caves. Are you How are you stuck? You are not stuck. You saying you're stuck? You're a liar. You're a filthy liar. <laughs> Alright, actually, yeah, that's gonna do it for today's episode. So I will catch you guys in the next one. Again, I apologize for how short it was, but honestly, that that was it. That's I don't have any plans. I do have the materials to go tame it, but if I'm being perfectly honest, I don't want to. So, um, yeah, no. In the next episode, we'll see what's we'll see what's on the docket. Uh, I'll come up with some plans and uh, we'll get to them. Until then, this has been TBT signing out. Catch you later.